no problems with religion. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious to many. Um, yeah, I'll leave that one. Uh, I wrote this poem um, because, you know what, I'm going to let you figure it out because I want it to speak for itself. There's a line in a poem called Ars Poetica at the end. It says a poem shouldn't be, it should just mean. And I really hope that like this doesn't have to be decoded to get the message. And I think that's a, a big problem with poetry in an academic sphere is that we have to decode these things, like using antiquated vernacular and like trying to pick apart these things with like outdated references and horrible jokes and like trying to figure out what the poet meant by that. You know, the professor, what do you think that the writer meant by that? You get an A because this is creative writing. <laughs> Fuck that! Uh, it should just mean and not be. Um, and I hope this one means. Because it means a lot of things. Oh. It's called Garden. It's a love poem. Jorah, do you have something to say? <laughs> I was like, it's a love poem. Jorah's like... <laughs> His hands can still feel her hands, and his legs still shake with the monarchs they chased one summer wheat field, still roll down his back in his sleep. See, the past keeps casting shadows on his brain. And while awake, his arms hold scars to remind him of falling like secrets he cannot keep. His memories echo through him. All those nights they filled with tire swings. Slow, barefoot dances in the space between judged and too afraid to touch. It was never enough, but the jug from which they drank their music was always full. They ate pomegranates together, compared the sweet blood lining their lips with their lips like laughs, compared hands, and they fit like awkwardly perfect. Yes, I remember all of our secrets, like every mistake of youth and lessons learned, but I could never forget that we were never more genius than when our heads were empty. Our bodies, like ivy, chased each other through an arbor called chaos. Our backs, like bent bows, we called each other arrows, but we were archers, weren't we? We shot down constellations for each other to wear like crowns, and in the morning in the cotton, we'd rise and arch over the mountains of this experiment like a religion. Both of us prayers, both of us peaks, both of us cupped by each one's blood, each one's holiness, so we'd drink our bones down like communion until our hearts and our faith became hard enough to break commandments on. And because, every, because of this, everywhere we slept was a fucking lightning storm. Um. Beauty blooming into the tint of sex and the electric blue. In our constant night, we would smith our guilt into gilded smiles so all the wolves outside would know that this house we built was stronger than brick. The fires we could light inside each other made pyres look like matchsticks and never leave this fact behind. That we could mix Greek myths out of kisses split with the tricks of a double helix because our love was colorblind. I want nothing more than a rip tear break one of my rib bones into a blade and carve my love into the core of a stone. Throw it at the ocean. I wanted to stone the ocean with my love that may roll it to your feet one day like a golden apple. Pick it up to know me again. It is weightless. Darling, we were empty. Like these sacks we've come to carry our souls in. Before we started saying nakedness is shame and began wearing these disguises, before we became weeds, we were a garden. Life grew out of us like daisies from graves. Like heroes always fall out of mistakes, but we've grown over ourselves, haven't we? Each word we speak shifts with a new snake, our bellies filled with ash. We have blown down our own house. We are no longer a garden, no longer each a guardian. Our blood no longer sweet. We are a secret we dare not tell. We dare not dare to repeat. We dare not dream of. For in our sleep, we are just lambs who never learn to roar. Seeds never sown into parables. Stones never thrown into these fields. Never reap beneath this. We are scarecrows. Phantoms wearing the skin of ghosts, the skin of death. Death, take us with the crows. God, we are rooted here in our loneliness. We are alone. 